So how do you deal with tune at your OnlyFans management agency and how do you keep client retention high so clients actually don't want to leave you and go join another agency or go do their own thing, right? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. S literally make sure you stick to the end and make sure that you actually get a pen and paper out because there's going to be stuff I talk about in this video that you've never heard of, 100% guaranteed. Um, and I guarantee there's definitely things in this video that you've never thought of or never done before just because no one talks about this stuff and no one gives this source away, right? So. My goal is to make sure that you're not just putting your dick in a pencil sharpener and waiting for it to turn on, maybe, maybe not, right? So, that being said, first you need to think, right, when it comes to tune, when it comes to client retention, you're not gonna be working with these creators forever, right? A lot, and especially a lot of you are not gonna be working with creators that are like full-time influencers. Um, and so there's gonna be time constraints. Maybe she's only doing it while she's in college. Maybe she's, she has a job that she's always wanted so she quits. Maybe her family finds out and she doesn't wanna do her anymore. Maybe she gets shiny object syndrome and wants to go jump to a new, new um, you know, business or maybe a new agency, right? And so like, I wanna go over everything to stop creators from wanting to leave and want to work with you and I'm just going to go over everything right now the first thing is going to be touches right um and and bring bring it back to that first point like when a creator wants to go you just gotta let them go like there's nothing else like if they've if they've already come to the committed decision that they want to leave there's nothing you can do it doesn't matter if you've got a 12-month contract you can't exactly force them to do the work it's going to be a nightmare relationship you just gotta let them go. If they wanna go, let them go. It's not gonna be healthy. It's not gonna be worth the time, the energy, um, especially if you're thinking about legal action, all this kind of bullshit. The, the amount of vicious agencies I see actually disgust me. Like, there's so many agencies that try and like lock models into these bullshit contracts. Like, we, we, the, the reason why we've done so well is because our entire agency is just built on trust and transparency and there's a ton of scumbags in this industry. And all the, all the models we work with, it's like, if you wanna leave, that's completely, like, you can leave whenever you want. Like, it doesn't matter, like, because at the end of the day, if, if, if you don't want to work with us, or if it's not going to work, if you want to do something else, you could do that, right? But the amount of agencies that when a model does leave, right, they go and do some, like, vicious shit, like, go and get her IGs, G accounts banned, and go and get her OnlyFans banned. Like, that's so, like, disgusting. Like, why, like, why would you... Like, that just shows me that you're just such a shitty human being. And I, if you're one of those, like, OnlyFans girls that's watching this and that's happened to you, I actually feel so bad for you. It's just, it's just bullshit. Like, it's just a lot of vicious fucking agencies out there. I've seen it happen time and time again where a girl will come to us and be like, yeah, my last agency banned all my accounts because I left because they wasn't delivering me results and I, my account went from 50K a month to 10K a month and I left because of it. Like, you not only ruined your account, but now you've banned all it. It's crazy. It's actually... Let's, but I'm going off topic. Regardless, right? So a couple things. Touch points. How do you keep client retention high? It's going to be touches, right? So what that means is touches. It's like personal touches that you have. You need daily touches with your clients where you're just checking in with them daily. Um, you also want to do like weekly loom updates or weekly call updates. And that's simply where you're just going to be like the point of touches is just to communicate with your creators regularly, right? Um, you don't just want to be sending them to-do lists and invoices and that's all you, you speak, you know, you send them a to-do list on Monday, do this, and then you send them an invoice on Friday. Like you, that's not what you want to be doing, right? There's no relationship there, right? Um, and so like you actually want to be building real relationships with your creators and you want to ask them, you know, how are they going? Like, like how, how's everything going? Like, get their feedback, tell them what you're working on, right? Show them the future vision, be a good leader, right? Um, that's going to be super key because they want to feel like work is happening. And although you may have been working extremely hard and doing all this stuff behind the scenes, if you don't communicate with that with them, they're never going to know. And they're just going to feel like, oh, I'm doing all the work and I'm giving them 50%. Why am I giving them 50%? And then they're going to start to build up doubts. And at that point, it's going to start to get too late and then they're going to leave, right? And so like, you need regular touch points. You need to be you know, talking about these are the strategies we're going to do. This is the vision. This is where we could be in the next, you know, uh, two, two, three months if we continue on this trajectory. This is where your account's looking like. This is what we're doing on our end. This is what we're thinking of doing. What do you think of this? It's a partnership, not a dictatorship, right? So just sending them t stuff to do, like tasks and treating them like a, a wage slave and then sending them invoices is not going to work, right? And like I said, I don't care how hard you work. If you're not communicating that, with them they can't read fucking minds so you need daily touches with your creators where you just hit them up ask them how they're doing schedule it right um and that's going to be super key right because the more touches you have the better they're going to feel and the more they're not just going to want to randomly leave one day right and so like you have to communicate that that work's happening otherwise they're not going to know right um and so it's just like you know do you need anything is, look at the strategy i'm working on blah, blah 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 and at scale you'll need to hire like a csm that's going to keep in touch um but 
at the start, just do it yourself and just put her in a schedule. Actually add her in your daily calendar, block out time to reach out with your clients, connect with them, and just build a good relationship with your clients, right? Um, and something else you need to do as well is you have to make your service personalized. So when we started, we just almost did like a one-size-fits-all, right? We scaled horizontally, we had a bunch of creators, and we were just like, use all the same stuff we would just send the same trend same stuff to all these creators it doesn't work it's a fucking mess right don't make the same mistake as me i would always recommend scaling vertically which we'll get into but you have to make your service personalized right because when it comes to um if, if you want to know more about like making your service personalized go and watch the organic content masterclass i'll link it um around you it'll probably pop up on the screen somewhere if i remember to do it on the cards but you have to make your service personalized because when it comes to how someone looks as an influencer, their personality, how they act, their interests, what they like, right? And the content that they put out is very personalized. So you can't do a one size fits all. You can't just go and find what's trying and what's working and giving it to them, right? You've got to find videos that work for that specific creator. And I speak to models all the time. They're like, I'm copying what all these girls are doing and they go going viral and I'm not. And I'm like, yeah, because this doesn't fit with you. And as your like, it's not authentic to you. Like you're just copying, that doesn't work. Firstly, never copy. Like, copy success, but steal like an artist, right? So put your own twist on it, tailor to your unique girl, but everyone just copies everyone, that doesn't work, right? Um, and so I speak to creators all the time, and they're like, this isn't working for me, I'm doing what all these other models are doing, and like, I'm not getting any engagement, why, why, I don't understand, and I'm like, because that's not how it works, like, that's just not how content works, like, you're not those creators, right? And there's so many variables that go into that, they just don't understand, right? Um, and so, like, you need to find the strategies that work for your creator, and you need to find out what they're comfortable with creating, what they'd actually enjoy creating, right? What doesn't feel like work to them? How much time they have to allocate to stuff each day? You need to let, you, you want them to let you know your points of interest, right? Like, maybe they want to try Kick or Twitch, like live streaming. Maybe they want to try YouTube. Maybe they would have fun going on podcasts, right? You've got to listen to your creators and then personalize plans towards them, right? Um, if you don't do that, then you're never going to have good service delivery and you're never going to get the results you want and your client chain is always going to be dog shit. Now, the biggest one is you need to focus on your customer experience, right? It's the most important thing. Your customer experience is so important. If you don't focus on that, and obviously your service delivery ties perfectly into that. Like, if you don't have a good service delivery, like... There's nothing else more higher leverage than actually being able to get them results, right? And so, like, not only do you need a good customer, customer experience, but you need that goes hand in hand with a good service delivery. And if you don't have them, then you are doing something wrong. And I promise you, if you focus on those over anything else, your customer experience and your service delivery, like getting them actual results and pouring into them and putting 100% effort. Like I spoke to someone the other day and I was like, how many, how many hours a day are you spend in? Um, I said, how much time a day? Like be honest with me, keep it real. It was someone that, that um, joined our, our program. I was like, you know, keep it real with me like how how much time you spend in per day like going over the organic content stuff with your models and like helping them craft strategies and he said 10 minutes a day and i was sat there like holy shit we spend like five hours a day per creator like on crafting unique content plans for them like sometimes three hours a day sometimes two hours a day but like never less than two hours a day um, depending on what we're doing, which is why it's so important to scale vertically, but you really got to pour into your clients, and that's how we're able to have models making 350K a month and um, 150K a month, and all these like big numbers, we're able to hit that because we really pour into our creators, and again, we're building them up as influencers and not OnlyFans models. They just happen to have OnlyFans, and that's how they monetize their following, right? Um, and so keep that in mind. Again, go and watch the Organic Masterclass if you haven't watched it, or go join the school community. It's $97 a month. This, it's the most value out there right now. It's insane. I'm not even going to pitch and explain. Just go to the About Us page. I'll, I'll link it below. Take a look. If you feel like it's a good offer, then join. I'd love to see you inside. We've got like 178 agencies in there. It's insane. It's the best place to be, um, and it's the cheapest price. And my goal with that community is to give you so much value for such a cheap price to where you can go start making 50 grand a month from the information in there, leverage our information to go start making 50 grand a month, then come and join us on our partnership program where we can actually help you scale to 500K a month, right, and have a small equity in your business. That's my, that's my mission, right? Now, again, focus on your customer experience and your service delivery. You need, re you need good results. It's as simple as that. And I promise if you focus and pour into your creators um, and you just pour, like let's just say you've got six creators right now, they're not really performing, uh, but two of them are working really hard sack off the other four and just pour, pour into those two creators and I guarantee you'll make way more money um, and you'll just make more money as a result if you focus on your customer experience and your service delivery and going above and beyond for your clients, right? 
you need to scale vertically. It's super important when you're just starting out just so you can get a hang of the business. Because the aim is you're going to put in all this upfront work to start and you're going to get underpaid, right? Like when we start, like I said, we, we literally put all the, mo all the money back into the models to build them up as influencers, getting promos, getting influencer clouds. Like we're really like getting underpaid. Um, like we're putting, all in, putting in all the work upfront to build them into influencers. We're putting in all the work upfront to get underpaid so that in the end you can get overpaid when they become influencer status, right? And now your job is also a lot easier when they get there because a lot of this business is, is about teaching them and coaching them and educating them and so they're going to learn and understand content at that point when they become influencer status and so it becomes more on autopilot they'll start to give you ideas they might even start to understand content better than you um, and at that point it's easier and you can just more guide them in the right direction continue the chat in um, and and that way like you're actually uh, going to be able to get overpaid by getting underpaid at the start right um, and a mistake I made early on uh, another mistake I, I made early on is, is trying to hang on to every creator this is something you need to know some creators just will not get results for your agency like they just want like they, they some creators you'll sign and they'll look perfect they will think they're perfect but for some reason they just will not get results with your agency or with the services you provide they just won't get results um they might not be a good fit you might not get on relationship wise right and so like not every creator is going to be a good fit and it's just way worth just cutting them because it's not worth the time and energy you put into them to try and make something work and force something to work, right? It just doesn't work. Some creators you're going to sign, you're going to think they're gems and it just doesn't work, right? And that's fine. Just cut them. Don't hold on or hang on to creators. You're just going to waste time and energy that you don't need where you could use that time and energy to go and find a better creator and scale faster, right? Now, something, this is, uh, this is something I never hear anyone talk about, but you need to gamify stuff, right? You need, people need games, right, to be motivated. And everyone always says they had model work ethic issues and we can solve that with the 12 year plan. That's the first step to solving it. Go watch the organic masterclass because I explained that. We can solve it with a 12 year plan, but then we need to sustain it. And so we, that means we need to gamify stuff, right? For example, some stuff you can do um, for gamify and stuff and also giving them a future vision of staying with your agency you can have an incentive plan, right? So the first time they hit 10K as a creator, you're going to take a discount off their percentage on the invoice, right? So if you, the first time they hit 10K as a creator in a month, you'll take a discount off that invoice, right? Um, first time they hit 20K, you'll do the same, et cetera, et cetera, right? And so that way they always have a game to play and they always have something to look forward to when they hit these milestones for the first time, right? So it, it wants, they want to always be hitting new milestones, right? And that's stuff you can do. And I would honestly offer like big like incentives and discounts to do that because you will grow as a result of it again you want to get underpaid at the start to get overpaid um, in the future right and so like they always need a game to play you want to do the same way your chat as gamify your chat as you want to gamify your entire organization right like this is how like people always have to have a game to play and something to look forward to because if they have a game to play then creators are not going to burn out as much right and so most people need games just the, they just really do unless you have those really high achievers that you know have a lot on the line they want to retire their family they have big goals and they don't need any external motivation but 99 percent of people are going to need games to perform and you'll be surprised at what happens and how production just goes through the roof when you add games like honestly we jumped from about 200 grand a month to 500 grand a month in three months just applying games like it was fucking crazy like we started playing games to our chatters to our models it was crazy and i learned this from a mentor that i spent fifty thousand on and we just built tons of systems uh, spiff of the day like oh it's insane like the games we play are crazy um and they're so good and they work so well right and so otherwise it just feels like work if they don't have games to play right and so also having something on the horizon to look forward to as well right they need that right influencer collabs right other model collabs create a content trips right and also another thing you can do is reward loyalty right so you know if you're with us for a year we'll de we'll decrease the percentage if you're with us for two years we'll decrease the percentage right and so if you literally do everything I've talked about in this video and you actually sit there, you've taken notes and you actually look into them, break them down, get into more detail, start figuring bits out. If you do everything I've talked about in this video today and deliver on it, then you're not gonna have creators that wanna leave your agency. And not only is your agency gonna make more money as a result, but you're gonna have better relationships with your creators, they're gonna work harder, and it's gonna be a way more efficient, profitable agency. Um, and so just literally go through this video again, watch it twice, watch it three times, take notes, really dive deep onto each point Think of the games you can play and how you can do this stuff. Um, and then in the meantime, join the school community. It's $97 a month. You'd be massively missing out if you're not. Um, you'll get to watch all the previous Mastermind recordings we've had. There's going to be another call next week live with me. Um, and that's going to be the last call for February. So make sure you join. And other than that, I'll see you at the top. Peace.